came out of the pandemic when it was identified that there were a lot of people that were just marooned really in, in their homes and they, and they weren't coming out. But the longer that people are inside and not moving around and talking to people, obviously this has a really debilitating effect on their physical health and their mental health. And the longer they're in, the more difficult it is for them to come out, to take that first step outside the house. During the pandemic, there's a really, really good charity that was doing some excellent work, providing a weekly doorstep support scheme for people who, who wanted to be involved in that. Um, so what they would do was go round to those people's houses, same time, same day, every week, and would just talk to them on the doorstep, about five to ten minutes, and give them a little activity to do that they could do for the, uh, the rest of the week. So the first step for them was like getting from their lounge or the bedroom to the, the, the front door to talk to someone and as the weeks went on they gradually kind of um, built up trust and then when we came out of lockdown and it was safe to do it there was a big kind of great get together at the community centre for people in that position coming out to something uh, for the first time it really helped if they were going somewhere that they already knew so like a safe and a known place um, and it helped if they were going with somebody that they they knew and trusted so my role um, I've got a, a, a couple of things. I'm, I'm talking to residents, just listening to them. And um, that can be done informally. So as part of my running group, as part of the social sessions after an exercise class, part of Age Concern wanting to relaunch their age-friendly Carlton initiative, I was able to help set up some focus groups. So again, on a more formal way, we were able to ask residents what they wanted. Then just going out and finding um, what, what is out there already. Uh, so going to physical places, so going to the Age Concern, Concern Charity Shop, coming here to the Carlton Community Hub, what social media groups we've got like the Carlton Hill Community Action Facebook and publications, so things like This Is Gedling and NG4 magazine. Also the support services, so finding out the groups that are there and then connecting all of those groups and sharing information. We have helped connect like the physios with the fitness instructors at the leisure centre. So there's kind of like continuity of support for, for residents there. It's really about creating the environment where people are connecting and helping each other. So the group just working with the Calden Hub with housing schemes to think about how we can do things like the nature activities, maybe enable residents to kind of plant seeds. So again, they're kind of thinking outside of their, their homes. It's just making those connections and, um, and helping them to help each other. There's a sign on the door of the, uh, the Carlton Community Hub that, that talks about inspiring and growing communities of hope. And I think that's what we're, we're trying to do.